In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace both the ear speaker and the loudspeaker on the iPhone 12 mini. This isn't the first one that I've had in this week, so I'm going to guess that this might be a common problem with this model of phone. When one fails, it looks like both fail. Let's get started by removing the two pentalobe screws either side of the lightning connector at the bottom of the phone. Next, I'm going to add a suction cup onto the bottom half of the phone, get a single-sided Dorco razor blade and insert it into the gap between the screen and the chassis. Add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol all the way around that bottom edge. And then I'm going to lift up with the suction cup and pry up on the Dorco blade. And this should pop our screen out. Let's go with a slightly thicker blade because it's taking a bit more budging. Pry up on the thick blade this time. And you can usually find that these will come up without any heat. Once you've got it lifted that much, then you can get the plastic pick in there and roll it along the edges to separate the screen from the chassis. It's probably worth turning the device on whilst you're doing this, just thinking about it, just to make sure that you don't green line the screen or damage it. So just for the people who disagree with me not using heat to remove this screen, I found that the 12 series, the, the, the OLED screen and the glass will separate from the plastic frame if you use too much heat to remove it. And instead, I much prefer on this model to remove the screen using alcohol, a suction cup and the blade only. It's a little bit more nerve wracking for those a little bit timid, but I found that this works much better. Now that we've worked our way around the edges of the phone, you might have just seen me pry up there to make sure that the top came out easily. And we're into the device when we open it, when we open it up, just like opening a book like that. I'll leave that stuck to the screen look just here so that it'll not fall over whilst we're working in the device. Now that we're into the device, we're going to remove this tri-wing screw from here. And that's holding down this shield that is on like a little hinge type thing or a little latch. And it can be a little bit awkward to remove. Just fish that out. Use a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery. And then disconnect the screen flex cable too. We can move up to the top of the device now. And remove the five tri-wing screws that hold down the shield up at the top. Keep those screws safe for later and then go ahead with lifting up that shield. Now we can use a black plastic stick to disconnect the front ear speaker and sensor flex and we can separate the screen from the chassis now. I'll start off with the easy part by removing and swapping out this loudspeaker down at the bottom. This is held down by four crosshead screws, one in the bottom right, top right and then two either side of the top of the lightning connector, just here and here. Remove all four of those, and then simply grab hold of it with your tweezers and get it out of there. Yeet. So now that the loudspeaker's out of the way, we're gonna get the new part. I think it's this one what's a little bit expensive. I think because it's so, such a common failing on this model, you pay a little bit of money for these. They're about 20 pounds for a little speaker. And in comparison, I'd say, typically you'd pay about three pounds for something like this. Anyway, it is what it is. If you're doing this for somebody, make sure that you price it right. It's just a case of straight swapping it and re-securing those four crosshead screws, making sure that it's secured down well. So with those four screws reinstalled, we're gonna move on to the ear speaker now. As I did say earlier, it's a little bit trickier to do this but nothing that you guys can't handle. The best way to do this is by leaving this, the sensors attached to the screen, but you do need to remove the two tri-wing screws on the left side of the speaker. These are all different sizes, so keep them safe. And then you've got two crosshead screws on the right side as well. Once you've done that, you can just grab hold of this with your fingertips and fold it over like that. Now that we're here, these two contact points here are soldered down and that's where the ear speaker is connected to this flex. If, let me make this clear, 
if you don't swap only the ear speaker and you replace this whole flex cable, Face ID will not work. That's because you've got the proximity sensor just here where my thumb is, which controls Face ID. It just doesn't work without it. So this is the only way that you can replace the ear speaker whilst keeping Face ID function. Anyway, take your soldering iron and just touch it on those contacts and that's just gonna melt it real quick. Then we're gonna lift it up a little bit. Anyway, to remove this, we need to get underneath the flex cable over on this side, slide your sharp end of tweezers underneath to lift that bit up because it is stuck down to the speaker there. And once you've got that lifted, you can get your soldering iron. I'm using a hacko. You can lift it up, just touch the contact points and you'll find that it'll lift away, desoldering, allowing it to detach just like that. It's very, very simple if you've got the right tool. Same again with the part, get the best quality that you can. These are always pulled parts that we use for these um, because they just work better. But I can see that it's probably been reconditioned. It'll need a little bit of solder just here. To apply the solder, I'm just gonna add a little bit of flux on it, onto it, there and there. Then I've just got some 183 soldering wire. And we'll touch that, touch that. Just to add some solder onto it. And then that's sort of primed up so that we can slide the ear speaker where we took it away from. Apply a little bit of pressure, make sure that it's lined up. And then you don't want to be guiding it in with your fingers at this point because you, want, you don't want to burn them. So go ahead and just use your soldering iron to re-secure it down. So one of those is soldered nicely. The other one doesn't look so good. So I'm just going to add a little bit more flux on there. We can clean this up after, don't worry. And I'm just going to sort of be dabbing with the soldering iron to make sure that it's secure. That looks a lot better now. You don't need a fancy microscope to do this job. It's very, very basic soldering. With that secured now, I'm just going to add a little drop of isopropyl alcohol and take a Q-tip to clean it up a little bit. These weren't insulated from the start, so we don't have to worry about doing that. And instead, we're just going to flip it straight back over and install those four screws. Now I'm just going to reconnect everything and test before I seal it back up. But the most important part of this video has been completed, and that's how we replace both the speakers on the iPhone 12 mini which I'm finding is a very, very common fault on these devices. For reinstallation of the screen, there is another video on the channel that I'll link above. But in short, we just removed the adhesive from around the edges and re-secure the two shields that we removed when taking the device apart. Thank you for watching and see you next time.